Okay, sports fans, it's Sunday. Sunday. It should be professional football day, but it's not yet. It's going to be, and I'm excited. All right, so it doesn't take long for things to get accumulated and the office turn into a complete dilapidated shit show. All right, it doesn't take long for that to happen. Um, but it's been dawned on me for the last, I'm going to say 30, no, last, last week or so, that this joy business is awesome. And you and I both know we love bringing joy to people, okay? And most, if not all, 95% of my videos are speaking about all the pros associated with being in the yard site celebration business. And I have been promoting it, and I've been saying that you should do it, and I'm telling you all the right reasons why, and I've done you an injustice. Here's the injustice. And it's simple, and it's not hard. And... I've been connecting with somebody uh, literally from the beginning, and she just launched her yard sign business uh, on Friday. And she sent me uh, an IM today. It was like, uh, I'm freaking exhausted. Like, totally cashed physically. You know, I have back pain. You know, I struggle with physical therapy. Listen, if you're getting into the yard sign business and you have not exercised, you're not eating right, if you're grossly overweight, if you're someone who despises any physical labor, okay, this isn't a construction job. This is not, you know, landscaping. And this is not masonry work, okay? But what this is is work, all right? And because we get all excited about the joy business and the idea of bringing something special to somebody, I've neglected the simple fact of telling you that you also need to take care of yourself. Now, I've been an athletic guy for a long time, but not these last couple years, okay? I'm actually gonna show you, I'm gonna insert a video. I spent, uh, I got a great story. I spent probably about four and a half, five years in the CrossFit genre doing heavy late weightlifting. I'm going to insert a couple of videos in here to show you kind of what I did. And I did it, you know, right around the early age of 40 and into my uh, late 40s. And then about two years ago, I just stopped. I couldn't do it anymore. And I paid a price for that also. Um, but what I can tell you is that, is that I'm not in the type of shape that I was back then. Um, but I, I would say, I would, I would argue that I'm in some shape. Okay. I don't die when I install these things. And let me tell you that... Because this is going to happen to you. Listen, you love the joy business. You're starting. you got all your letters. you got all your signs. You're ready to rock and roll. You're ready to get going. You're ready to bring it. Just know you're going to run into a yard that is going to be absolutely on top of a boulder. And you're not going to know what to do. And you're going to be so excited about getting a sign that these stakes don't go into the ground. And then you're going to say, what did I get myself into? This is hard. Now, is it hard like... Squatting 600 pounds? No. Is it hard like squatting 100 pounds? No. Okay. But for someone who isn't actively walking, you know, taking care of themselves from a food perspective, being athletic. And I'm speaking to the people who are 25, 30 pounds overweight, who haven't exercised in years, in a long period of time. And you want to deliver joy to people. Just know this. Okay. You are going to work in a way that you haven't worked in a really long time, and you are going to be sore. Now, being sore when you're 24 or 25 is very different than when you're sore between 45 and 50, okay? It may take you two days, three days to recover from being sore when you're 25. It's going to take you at least four to five days to recover when you're 50, if not even longer. And if you're not taking care of yourself, it'll even be worse, all right? Now, what happens if you're not physically in some kind of fairly reasonably good shape? You're going to get tired, right? We all know that. The second thing that happens is when you're tired is you get emotionally exhausted. All right. So what can happen and can happen to you 
if you're not thinking this through, is that you will be physically exhausted and you won't know why. All right, and then you're gonna be emotionally drained because you can't physically get excited about throwing all your stakes in the car and going to someone's house. Now, if you're someone who exercises, and I'm not talking about like running like a marathon or being in the Olympics. I'm talking to someone who goes for a walk every day. I'm talking for someone who seriously considers what they eat and not McDonald's all day, you know? And you're conscious of how your body works. If you're that guy or that girl, you're fine. All right, you're going to be sore, but you're not going to be sore to the point. The first week, you're going to be upset because you're going to be sore than you think. So know that if you're emotionally drained and you don't know why, it's because you're exhausted, totally exhausted. All right, but know this. If you're someone who isn't health conscious, you are going to ache in a way that you haven't ached in a long time. All right, and if you haven't done that kind of physical work, the next thing that gets thrown out the window is you are going to be emotionally drained and moody and bitchy and angry. All right. So listen, this is not a reason not to do the joy business. This is a reason for you to consider how it is that you're taking care of yourself physically. All right. And make adjustments because when you have that cover, it will probably take you you know, at least three weeks, call it a month to get yourself into some kind of physical shape where you can do this stuff and not be exhausted. Um, you'll be better for it. You're taking care of yourself and you don't even know it because you're so excited about bringing joy. But it should be stated because I'm not stating it, that there's pros and cons to this business. And I'm going to focus some more of my videos on some of the things that I think all of us need to consider when we get into this thing because it's physically demanding and there's also different ways that we can be better organized and um, I'm gonna focus a lot more of my upcoming videos on more of installations more of preparation and more of organization of your letters okay that's just what I'm gonna do and I think that'll be beneficial and um, you'll see why in a little bit okay I got some ideas that I'm gonna throw out at you but um, don't look at this as a bad thing. Look at this as an opportunity to say, hey, I really need to consider this. Because even though you're not going to spend a lot of money, and when I say a lot of money, I'm talking $5,000 or $10,000, unless you buy a franchise, into your yard signs and your inventory and your stakes and all that kind of stuff, you're not going to be that person. You're still going to be spending money, okay? And you may find out that when you get into this thing that it's just not for you. And... I want you to be prepared for that. I want you to consider and not be reactive the physicalness of this business. Okay? Because, listen, Jennifer has really bad back pain. Um, and she can't, she can't do this stuff. So I got to do it. I got to do it with the boys. And I'm, I love doing it with the boys, actually. And if you have kids, this is a great opportunity for you to get them active. All right? and get them doing stuff. They had they had some friends over the other night and they had to go home because they had to go on uh, pick up some installs with me. So that's it. I'm not going, well, what else can I tell So get yourself prepared. Start doing some sit-ups. Start doing some push-ups. Think through what it is that you know that you need to do and you know that what you're not doing. Write down a list. Am I physically in some kind of fairly good shape. Can you run a mile right now? Can you walk a mile right now? Can you do push-ups? Can you do sit-ups? And if the answer is no to that question, then you need to stop and think about what you're doing. Okay? Because that will be part of the challenge that you just don't see. And it will punch you straight in the face. You're going to be like, Barry, I told you we should do this joy business, but I'm exhausted. And your husband's going to say, listen, I told you this is going to be physically demanding. We just dropped two grand on signs, and now you want to stop? Don't have that conversation. All right? How do you know if you're not in shape? Go walk a mile right now. Just go walk a mile. All right? Get in your car, drive a mile, look at your odometer, go walk it. All right? Tell me how you feel the next day. See what happens. Then you'll know. And you'll have you'll be better informed, and I want you to be informed, okay? 
So it took me 10 minutes to kind of tell you all that kind of stuff, but it's important that you know this stuff, all right? And um, I want you to be prepared. So be prepared, but make it happen. This is an opportunity for you to think differently and get physically healthy. And it's a great time to do it while you're bringing joy to people getting paid. That's all I got. Make it happen.